Hello, and welcome back to our Ag Expert Accounting tutorial series. In our previous tutorial, we talked about how easy it is to add opening balances to your accounts in your first year using our program. You can watch the tutorial I'm referring to by clicking on the link below. Carrying over previous year's payables and receivables into your books can be a little daunting. That's why we decided to cover this topic in this video. Let's dive in without further ado. Sign into your account by visiting www.agexpert.ca. When dealing with historical receivables and payables, you will need to enter each invoice that makes up the balance you owe to each supplier and the balance to be received from each of your customers. Ensure that all customers and suppliers are already set up in the system. Any missing suppliers can be added under the Purchases tab and Customers under the Sales tab on the left-hand navigation menu. Once the contact is updated, I can now go to Chart of Accounts on the left and select the Accounts Receivable account. This is a mandatory account that comes with the program by default. My Customers list will now appear in the slide-out column on the right. Now I'm going to select my customer and click Add. I need to scroll down through the accounts in my chart of accounts and select the account the receivable is affecting. This should always be the same account that was used in the previous year. In my example here, I sold some hard red spring wheat, but my customer hasn't paid me yet. My income account was 4010-01. Depending on the type of account being selected, the invoice amount will be recorded either as a negative or positive. This is where it can get a bit confusing. Here's a chart that will help you figure out which sign to use. I know this will be handy whenever you're working with receivables and payables, so maybe write this down somewhere in your notebook. Because this is a receivable income, I will enter the invoice as a positive amount. If I had multiple invoices from this customer, I would have to repeat these steps for each invoice. Let's now quickly go over a payable scenario and see what happens. I will sort my chart of accounts by liabilities and select the accounts payable account. I had some GST owing, so I'm going to select the CRA GST payable as my supplier, and click add. I will type GST in the filter box and choose the GST HST Collected account. I have $2,500 that I still have to remit to the CRA. Now going back to my cheat sheet, this is a payable liability. So I will record this amount with a negative sign or in brackets. And then click Save. The balance will now reflect correctly and show that I indeed owe $2,500. Once my payment is made to CRA in that current year, I will be able to find this invoice in my payables and apply the payment to clear the account. And that's it. That's the end of our tutorial. As you can see, Ag Expert is solid, simple, and built for the farm. It's easy to use, and it's never been easier to get started with a digitized bookkeeping application. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our customer care team. Thanks for watching and take care.